Once again, here to talk Olympic swimming is Olympic gold medalist Tom Dolan. All right, Tom, let's break down Katie Ledecky's race, first of all. What an awesome race. Was this the showdown that you expected with Seostrom? It really was. I think this was the race of the Olympics for her that at home, we can all say it's not going to be a blowout. Yeah. And she's going to get a stiff challenge and let's see what happens. And, and that's exactly what happened. It was, a, it was a fantastic race. My take on it, more than anything, um, obviously Katie swam great. She did the best time. Um, it was, I think, controlled the race throughout. Sure. It did not play out the way I thought it would. Uh, Sarah Schostrom is a sprinter. She's the world record holder in the 100 butterfly, won the, world, won the gold medal and broke the world record in that event two days prior to this race. Yeah. Everyone kind of thought she would go out after it and take the race um, and make it her own at the 100 mm -hmm. and force Katie out of her comfort zone a little bit. Um, Katie's not a natural sprinter, and, and quite the opposite happened. I was very surprised. I, I would have thought, you know, I think Sarah's coach should have probably have sat her down and said, Listen, you need to win the 100 to the 150, mm -hmm. then hold on for the 200 and hope that Katie doesn't catch you. And ironically enough, the opposite happened. Katie went out ahead of her, yep. and Sarah started catching her the last 15, 20 meters and made it very close at the end. Either way, it was, a, it was a fantastic race. And I think, you know, kudos to Katie in that I would imagine her coach as well tried to say to her, you should control it from the onset, mm -hmm. knowing that you're the distance swimmer and therefore you're going to have more at the end. Yeah, I love the inside swimming strategy. The <laughs> things we don't notice. All right, so Michael Phelps um, obviously looking for some revenge from four years ago over Chad DeClo, and he got it in a big way. You predicted that after the race he would say, this is why I came back. Come true? Yes, yes. I think <laughs> I wish he had been asked more directly about yeah. that right. because so that's what he was trying to say in his post-race yeah. interview. I think if Michelle Tafoya had said, was this a singular, singular reason you came back, he would have said yes. Uh -huh. um, and you could tell, I think, just by his, his the emotions he showed post-race, which he normally isn't outwardly emotional, um, you could tell this was it. This was the that little pebble in his shoe for four years that really he wanted to fix so he could go happily into retirement and, mm -hmm. and, and feel at peace. And I think this was one of the things that drove him. Again, ironically enough, with this race, not as clean as, as he would have liked it. I, I guarantee you Bob Bowman would say his turns could be a lot cleaner. Um, overall, he swum better 200 butterflies before, but this was his baby. This was his very first Olympic event on the team that I was on way back when in 2000. Yeah. Uh, this was his bread and butter event. And so I think it was ultimately important for him to win that gold medal. And it's a good thing it was 200 meters because had it been 201 or 202 meters, uh, he, he had some problems with some young guys, a guy from Japan and a guy from Hungary coming up on him there at the yeah, end. Yeah, super close. Yep. So talking about that emotion real quickly, during the anthem, he is busting out laughing, but it almost seemed like it, he was sort of holding back the tears thanks to the laughter. Yes. We can all thank the Baltimore Orioles for saving <laughs> Michael from breaking oh. down in tears on the medal stand. And, and you could hear his buddies from, uh, from Maryland who made the trip yell oh during the national anthem and uh and that helped michael they, he got a good laugh <clears throat> excuse me good laugh out of it yeah. and you know i think it was that was the moment in having been there before certainly not as many times as michael but that's the moment when you're on the podium and you see the american flag go up and they're playing the national mm -hmm. anthem for you for you and for the efforts that you put in and for your swim and of course for your teammates and your family and everyone that brought you there but that's that's the moment where for swimmers it's very hard because it's such a long road to put a bow on it and find that one singular moment where it all comes together and I think we would all say if we've been in that position that's the moment where it starts to sink in oh my gosh this really happened and this really came true and I think for Michael no matter how many times he's up there yeah. that's that moment and that moment hits you and I think the O saved him a little bit from, <laughs> from a true breakdown. Tom thank you. Thanks for having me.